Okay guys, quick and simple video. I am, um, I have deep condition. I'm sorry. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all my subscribers. And if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button down below while you will be able to help me grow as I go through my natural hair journey. Okay? And I'm telling you so much. Thank you for watching this video. Okay? I have, I just want to do this here and I'm not going to be talking much because I'm just not. But this morning I did a deep co-wash conditioning. It's a deep conditioning co-wash by Shea Solutions and it is a cream and I got this from the Dollar Tree for one dollar it really works good on my hair okay and then I have been doing this here which is Salon Selectives I don't know if you guys can see that or not uh, I'm focus I don't know okay Salon Selectives and it's uh, organ hair treatment, organ oil hair treatment for damage repair. And I'm using that because I did do a black dye on my hair. And I'm noticing the low porosity hair is in full effect. Okay? So let's get started. What I'm going to be doing today is. I'm going to be applying gel today to my hair. I went all weekend with just oils and conditioners and I tried the LOC method and everything and what works best for me is the oil and the water. So the liquid and the oil. I haven't found the cream to put in yet with my hair that actually worked. So I'm going to be doing two little space puffs at the top. And the rest, I'm going to be using my Echo Style, Eco Echo Style Gel. And it has olive oil, shea butter, black castor oil, and flaxseed. So that's the gel that I'm going to be using today. And then also I found at the Dollar Tree a Lusty Edge Control. And I don't know if this is clear for you guys. But I guess I don't know how to zoom in and zoom out and stuff. Learning. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and create my space puffs. And my hair is completely no products very soft from the um, leave-in conditioner not leave-in conditioner the deep conditioner so it's very soft from that and I'm just gonna put two little space puffs up here because this is the style that has been working for me I don't want it to be too starting something you don't have all the necessary things that you need but I will be getting those things in Jesus name I will be getting those things so the first thing I'm going to do is take this piece put a clamp on it and then I'm going to take some of my Echo Style Gel. 
eco. I don't know how you say it. And I'm not supply. I'm not a putting. I'm not putting a lot on here because I'm still focusing on my low porosity. So it, the gel does not get hard. It doesn't crunch up. It doesn't do anything. So it just defines my curls, and that's the part that I like about it the most. some more gel for that part. I really hope this turns out right guys because I I really don't know if you guys can see me or not. And I hope you can. exact same thing to the other side. Just to get that side up. I'm sorry. I just don't think this is okay. So I'm gonna stand right here and hope and pray that I'm in the camera. Start with the back. still damp but I always keep a little warm water and I do say warm water because my hair is low porosity so it has a time actually sitting in soaking in my hair so when I have to spray the water I do take a minute to work the water in to make sure that it's saturated. And I'm just going to take some gel 
I'm going to start it with a little piece. Hope you all can see that. My curls are very defined with this gel, with the Eco, as well as the, um, um, Extreme Wet Line. And I use the Rake Method to apply my gel, and I use the Rake Method to detangle anything that's de that's tangled. But after using the deep conditioner, the uh, leave-in conditioner, not leave-in, why do I keep saying that? The co-wash co deep conditioner by Shea Solutions, Shea Solutions, and like I said, you can find that at your local Dollar Tree. They actually have a leave-in conditioner that I love as well. But I'm finding that when I do have a cream in my head that's left in my head, my curls don't really, I don't like the residue, i put it like that. I don't like the white. And I'm just making a second line. going around and your lines don't have to be perfect okay now I'm starting on that second row once again, spraying warm water, rubbing it in so that it just won't sit on my hair, that it actually get into my hair. This is the gel. Very defining, very defining, no residue, and I try to make sure I do my roots as well. Then I take another piece, add my gel. my husband. Hopefully y'all won't hear that part. But if I don't know how to edit it, he's going to walk more. So as you can see, this gel is the bomb. And I picked it because there are a lot of a lot of gels you can choose from but I picked this one right now because it has those oils in it and that's what my hair needs my hair needs moisture don't use a lot of product. I do not use a lot. It's, it's not taking a lot for me right now to get these these wash and goes and stuff done.
But I am going to have to invest in a um, diffuser because my scalp is the very last thing that gets dry. because it's still still damp so and rake apply and rake that piece was a little bit bigger than what I was doing in the back and I don't know if it's because I I know I'm almost done. But you all can clearly see this gel. This gel works. This one is a little thicker, so I'm going to take this piece right here, make sure that water's in, or liquid, liquid. Because what I've been learning is that the, when you're doing the LOC method and the LCO method, which is the liquid oil cream and the liquid cream oil, I'm learning that water is considered to be one of those liquids. Last piece. This piece as well is thick. Working in that water. And I do take my time. I usually, I used to just take some gel and slap it on there and call it a day. But I'm not doing it anymore. I'm actually going to take my time. And 
And this is just a detangling, well, it's not a detangling brush. I have a detangling brush, but I don't really have to. Like I said, my hair is short right now, so I don't have a lot to detangle. So. Curls. And my daughter, she's been trying to teach me about these edges, y'all. I don't know. I don't know nothing about edges, okay? So, I probably should have put my puffs higher. I am. Kind of push them further back. This is a shorter piece of my hair that don't never like to do right. So this is my journey, y'all know. I'm learning as I go, and I'm trying to make sure that whatever I learn, I share with you guys. Because it is not easy. It's not. I thought it would be easy because I'm like, I've cut my hair a thousand times. I've been natural. Blah, 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 blah. But see, it's a difference between cutting your hair short and then relaxing it and then cutting your hair short and then relaxing it. That's not natural. Natural, I see, takes work. And it's, qual it's the quality you keep your hair. And my whole goal is to be able to have grow this down. So I'm going to let this air dry and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was. If you have any questions, anything I did not answer, uh, please leave a comment down below and I will answer your questions. If you are new here and you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be updated every day that I make a video. Um, any questions that you guys have or anything that you want me to try out, remember because we're learning the do's and don'ts and I want to go ahead and learn the don'ts so you would know the do. So anything that you guys want me to try out, or any constructive criticism that you guys may have for me, please leave it down below. I am not easily offended. I, I'm i learning. So when you're learning, you can't be easily offended. So I'm just using my pick to fluff it out. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, I've kept, held you guys for 24 minutes. I promise I'm going to make these videos shorter. I promise. But until we learn all the stuff that we need to learn, I'm not really going to focus on the time because I'm going to make sure that you all get everything that you need. So, once again, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Have a blessed day.